Now in its seventh year, the TP Tour features some of the most promising players in Britain competing in one-day events on some of the country's most famous courses. The latest stop in the series was the historic Royal St George's Lynx, host venue for the 2020 Open Championship. The idea is obviously to give them the finest venue that they can possibly play at, play in a competitive round of golf. Uh, we have players that are on their way up, that are developing their game, that are learning the trade, uh, as well as very, very accomplished professionals who play on the European Tour and Challenge Tour, as well as the guys that have already won at the highest levels, and they will still continue to play these one-day tournaments because it's just great to get a card in your hand playing in a, a world-class venue like Royal St George's. We have a lot of guys that have won with us and now play on the European Tour. Um, not going to name drop, but European Tour, Challenge Tour players, a lot of them had their first win with us amongst this tour and others. So it really is, it's a, it's a, it's a proven way of learning how to be a professional, playing professional golf. Although the sun was shining, the players knew they would still have to overcome the elements to win the tournament, as Royal St George's provides a stern test which demands a certain skill set. Got to be a good shot maker, play the right sh shots at the right time, um, hit the low shots, little pan shots, anyone that hits it too high they're going to suffer around here. So it, it's a natural playmaker's golf course, Phil Mickelson, Darren Clark played it well, them little shots that jump over the bunkers like they're the secret to success maybe. But um, basically you've got to be a good putter. Uh, and just be patient, that's the secret, really. Fran McGurk has more TP Tour wins than any other golfer and played nicely over the opening nine holes, going to the turn in 33, two under par. But then he struggled, and that opened the door for Thomas Anderson. The 25-year-old was patiently plotting his way around the course, making some birdies, including a nice one at the tricky par 4 15th. Because the course is so difficult, um, you can really get ahead of yourself. Today I played it fantastically, hit, hit some great shots, and you're going to make mistakes. you just got to accept it, move on, and then hopefully birdie the next one, which, which I did actually a couple of times, which is probably why I did quite well. And it was that winning mentality that gave Anderson enough cushion to bogey the 16th and 18th and still triumph, with an even par round of 70. The victory at Royal St George's puts Thomas into 10th place on the TP Tour rankings and gives added momentum to his season. Yeah, I mean, Royal St George's is one of the premium courses in England. I mean, every win is helpful because it builds confidence and you can just basically snowball the effect of confidence into more wins, hopefully, and then not get too carried away because you don't want to get carried away when you're low. You can't get carried away when you're high. The TP Tour gives promising players like Thomas a schedule of nearly 25 tournaments, starting in early March and going through to the end of October. The aspirations for the Tour are endless, and we continue to grow, have bigger fields. But the more sponsors that we can attract and the more people that want to be involved in the development of golf in the whole of the UK, that will then obviously aid more and more professional tournaments like this give more opportunities for the young players to actually earn some money for playing their tournament. That's where we need to go, that's where we need to strive to attract more sponsors and attract more partners to try and help us in our goal to try and give them a decent home and a decent platform.